Hi, I'm Rob from RobNoPhoto.com and today we're going to be looking at the HTC One Max. First impressions, going to be thinking about the size of the phone, the screen, the sound that it makes and a little bit about the security on the phone as well. So, as you can see, when I'm doing the video you'll probably <laughs> you'll see me keep fiddling with both phones because I've got the HTC One Max here on the right and then on the left for comparison I've got my current phone which is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus the first thing that will hit you straight away is the sheer size of the HTC One Max you've got a 5.9 inch 1080p beautiful high different definition display um, if we turn the brightness up probably on the uh, HTC, the, uh, the Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy Nexus. That's probably a little bit too much. Put it back on auto. Um, you can see the difference. You know, we've got a lot more real estate here to play with. Um, I've only had the phone, the uh, HTC One Max, for a day, and I tell you what, it is pretty, pretty impressive. So to show off um, the, uh, the, the the screen, um, I tell you what, what are we going to do? Why don't we bring up um, some video? Let's go into uh, Netflix. Uh, we're running over Wi-Fi at the moment. Um, let's see what we should play. Um, have a little bit of the Sylvester Stallone, Judge Dredd. Not the best film in the world, <laughs> but something that we can just show it off. Let me just turn the turn, whoop, turn the volume down. Um, and there we go. Should uh, just start to play. Let me get the angle right. Um, as you can see, beautiful widescreen display, massive, perfect for watching movies, um, gives you a really <laughs> crisp, it's, you, you won't be able to see this on the video, but it really is a lovely, crisp, uh, fantastic experience, very easy on the eye. So it's great for that. Um, for uh, browsing websites, what should we look for? Let's go somewhere like, I don't know, let's go to BBC photography homepage I tell you what that sounds good doesn't it let's see what we've got so as you can see, maybe a little bit as you can see there you know it's a fantastic nice wide screen actually this probably wasn't the best website to have a look at but it really does um, look very nice indeed um, one of the beauties of having this this such large screen is that you can actually turn down if I want we I'm just going to turn the brightness down slightly on the phone there we go one of the beauties of it is you can use quite a small font so compared to my Galaxy Nexus you can fit a lot more on the screen now it does do the magic word wrap that is so good on the HTC phones but this this pin sharp screen means that you can use the smaller fonts which really means you can see an awful lot more on the uh, on the screen indeed and uh, it really is a pleasure to look at things in fact tell you what, why don't we bring up a uh, magazine um, let's remember how to do this and then you can kind of see what we got um, white fang so this is this is a book so as you can see this text is unbelievably crisp very very good indeed and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I may well have a magazine that we can look at. Um, let's go and have a look through here. Look for the file manager program, which I definitely installed, but I can't remember where it is. Let's go back to the main screen. Where is it? News. There we go. File manager. Amateur photographer. There we go. Let's have a look at this. Add it to the bookshelf. This is a PDF. It's quite a large PDF, 35 megabytes. But what we should be able to do is, wow, I mean, look at that. Now, again, you really won't be able to see it on the screen, but you can zoom in, and it really does make viewing um, things like uh, magazines very, very doable indeed. Because... I. That, that's the full screen of a magazine there. Now, you won't be able to see this, but 
from me where I'm, yeah, I don't know, probably 30 centimetres, 12 inches away, I can read what it says. Nikon's new D3300 is the latest and most affordable model because that screen is just so crisp. Now, obviously, I can zoom in and look around um, and, uh, and I can look at things that way. But because this screen is so nice, um, you can really, really uh, make the most of the content. So that's the screen. Let's think about let's th think about um, the size of the phone. Again, we've shown you it's a lot bigger. Um, it is a two-handed phone. Um, if you've got massive fingers, you may well find that you can operate it, you know, with your thumb and going along. But as you can see, what I've done here is that this is on one of I've been customising the home screen. What you can see here is I've put a calculator on, and I've deliberately put it in the bottom right-hand corner so I can operate it one-handed. But most of the time, you are going to be cradling the phone in one hand and then using your finger or using two fingers that way. Um, it does take a little bit of getting used to, um, but not very long. And to be honest, you now I've been using this 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 phone for several hours. When I go back to my HTC. Um, but when I go back to my Samsung Galaxy, I mean, this, is, this isn't a small phone. This isn't a small phone, but it feels like a bit of a toy compared to the HTC One Max. Now, so that's the size. So let's talk about sounds. So actually what we'll do is we will go to YouTube and let's look for something. I don't know what we're we going to look for. Um, here we go. Beyonce Live at NFL Super Bowl 2013. So, well, I'm probably only going to play, oh, where are we? Let's get out of this. In fact, I tell you what, Google, Google Play Music. This is probably going to be the best thing. And then we can, what should we listen to? A little bit of ACDC, perchance. Uh, here we go. What do we want? Back in black. Let's go into that one. And here we go. You shoot me all night long. To turn the volume up. Now, what you probably won't be able to appreciate is how absolutely massively loud that this. I think, in fact, I'm going to have to turn it down. The speakers on the HTC One Max, they're kind of behind these sections here, and it is incredibly loud. Now, you could. You could. Let me turn it down again. Oops. You could easily have that in the corner of a room playing away, showing you a film, or playing your music, and it is incredibly loud. It is amazing. It really is. Uh, it's the loudest phone I've ever come across. Now, it's okay for, for music, obviously, watching films, but things like calls are really, really loud. Um, Sat-nav, always, I mean, uh, Google Maps and Google Navigation is great on the, uh, the Galaxy Nexus, but I, it was always a little bit quiet with this thing shouting away, though. Um, it's definitely not. It really is uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely fantastic. Now, you may well have just seen there me unlock the phone, but I didn't have to put in any funny um, design. I didn't have to put a password in. All I did was use my finger. Let me just turn this down because YouTube has a nasty habit. If it, if it hears some music it knows about, it'll, it'll stop using it. Now, this thing here you can see on the back just below the camera is a fingerprint scanner reader. And what you do is when you want to unload the phone, unlock the phone, you just pass your finger over like that and you can train the phone for as many fingers as you like. Now, you may well have read a few reviews online, people saying that it doesn't work very well. Well, you know, in the day that I've had it, I've only trained it for my one finger. I didn't do that finger, just that one finger there. And it has been fine. Um, okay, sometimes it doesn't get it every single time, but that's mainly due to the fact that you, you, you're not passing your phone. So what you can do is when you train it, you train it so that when you're holding the phone naturally, and then you pass your finger over it just like that. And if it doesn't get it on the first or the second, it normally gets it on the third time. If it doesn't get it all the way through, then it pops up and you can put a password in, which just takes, you know, a second or two to... To, to, to enter but most of the time that is just as fast as putting any sort of code or any sort of normal sort of swirly passwordy thing so there we go there we have the sound the size of the phone this the, the uh, screen the sound and the security uh, first impressions of the HTC one max very very nice indeed um, it's got some uh, amazing features this is blink feed which is like a, a bit like a, a super duper RSS thing I'll be talking about that in future videos um, but for now, I'm going to leave you um, and get on with playing with my phone to uh, find out all the superb features that are on it. My name's Rob, 
from robnonphoto.com. You can email me scalespeeder at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.